Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about fall outfit ideas. I put together 40 different outfits for you guys which literally took me forever so I hope you enjoy. Starting off we have a very basic combination here of jeans and a crop top and then just throw any jacket over top and boom you got yourself an outfit. Bonus points if it's a military jacket because that's super trendy right now. Here's another variation on that. This is giving me major Rachel from Friends vibes. Blazers are actually super, super trendy right now for the fall, especially vintage or retro looking ones. So definitely try hitting up your local thrift store and maybe you can find some stuff to put together an outfit. Here's another classic combination. Any kind of summer tank top or crop top with just a cardigan or a jacket is always a go-to for the fall time. Here's another trend that I am so into right now. Hats are definitely back for the fall, especially bucket hats like this one. So you can just wear any simple outfit. This is literally just jeans and a sweater and then throw the hat on top and bam, you got yourself a trendy outfit. Another trend that I've been seeing a lot recently is any kind of patchwork or color blocking on denim. I think it's a cool look to wear funky pants like this and then just keep it really simple on top with like a plain black shirt. Outfit number six is another trend that is so big right now and that is layering a tank top or short sleeve shirt over top of a long sleeve shirt. And I think this looks best when you layer some jewelry or some necklaces with it. And speaking of jewelry, I actually just found this new company called BU Jewelry and they sent me these rings. I had been looking for some affordable Affordable but good quality rings for a little while now and these are totally totally perfect so obsessed with them I also got these earrings which I love so I'll have this website linked down below if you guys want to order from them Another big trend this fall, which you can see here in outfit number seven, is the puffer jacket. Any type of big or bulky jacket that's a little bit cropped I think is really really trendy right now and it goes perfectly with outfits like this Here's another look using those same jeans. I swear not all these outfits have jeans, just the first couple ones. Anyway, I decided to pair this outfit with what I'm calling statement shoes. So basically I just kept the outfit very simple and plain on purpose. And then I spiced it up by adding these cool snakeskin boots. So that's always a tip or something you can do when you really don't know what to wear. Outfit number nine is an absolute classic. Of course you have to have your flannels in any type of fall fashion video. I definitely recommend going for more of an oversized flannel if you can find one. Those are definitely super on trend and they're also just really casual and easy to wear. This next outfit again is pretty straightforward but anytime you can wear a chunky or oversized cardigan with your outfit it's always a go-to for the fall time. For outfit number 11 I decided to follow the monochrome trend so clearly I decided to wear all black and a good tip if you're doing this is to leave a little bit of skin showing where you can so maybe let your ankles peek through just so you don't look totally goth. And if the monochrome look is not your vibe, then you can always break it up with a colorful jacket or something that has some pattern in it, like this one. Outfit number 13 is one of my favorites, actually. I'm so into this trend of wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath a graphic t-shirt. Just try to find a long sleeve shirt that has some of the same colors in it that your graphic t-shirt does, and bam, you have an outfit right there. Here's another variation of that. I'm just wearing it with a white shirt this time, as you can obviously tell. <laughs> so it's a little bit more casual, very easy, but still very trendy at the same time. Outfit number 15 is another attempt at the monochrome look. This time I went for the all white, but I'm not gonna lie, it's really difficult to wear all white without looking like you're trying to wear a Halloween costume. So I decided to add the jean jacket to break up the white and add a little bit of color. Outfit number 16 is another way to style white jeans for the fall time if you're into that look. I promise this is the last outfit that involves jeans. After this, we're moving into other bottoms like skirts and dresses and stuff like that. So speaking of dresses, look at this maxi dress. How cute is this for outfit number 17? Maxi dresses like this one are really, really in for the fall time this season. I styled this one the same way I was doing with the layering the tank tops before. So I just wore a black long sleeve shirt underneath the dress. And I really like how this looks. If you're not into this, another option is to wear a sweater over top. As long as the sweater is cropped enough, it kind of makes it look like you're wearing a midi skirt, which is also a really, really big trend right now. So I'm really into this look. I think it's just so easy and casual. And then one more option, just in case you didn't like either of those two, is to wear a graphic t-shirt and you can just tie it into a little knot like I did here. I like that this graphic t-shirt has some brown in it, so it really matches the skirt. And then another option, since it is fall time, is to throw a leather jacket on there to stay a little bit warmer. And I think if you wear this with some sneakers, it's just the perfect, like, running errands outfit or something like that. 
Here's another option kind of following that same concept. I think if you ever don't know what to wear and you're really stuck trying to figure out an outfit, try going through your closet and looking for a sundress or some type of summery dress and then pairing that with a shirt underneath it to make it a little bit more appropriate for the cold weather. Another option, again, is to wear a sweater over top. So here I'm just wearing this turtleneck sweater and I kept it super casual by keeping sneakers on. So it's just a very easy, flirty, fun look for the fall. Whew, outfit number 22. We're more than halfway, guys. We got this. So again, this is a similar concept to that last dress that I showed you, but I'm just wearing this jumper over top of a long black sleeve shirt. Another option is to wear it with overalls if you want to, because overalls are really, really in for the fall this season. And I just paired this with my Doc Martens. I think it's a very fun and easy look. So outfit idea number 24 is to wear a midi skirt. Longer skirts like this have become really popular recently, and I think they're perfect for the fall time just because it covers up a bit more of your legs so you can get away with the colder weather. Another thing I like to do for the fall is to try to wear some fun or funky pants. So not only are they more comfortable than jeans, but they also look like you put more effort into your outfit than you actually did. So these pants that I'm wearing here just have a gingham pattern on them, which is also a very trendy pattern for the fall time. Here in outfit number 26 is another variation of that last outfit. So again, I went with the fun stretchy pants. Um, these are a little bit more yellow, but it's the same idea. And number 27 is another variation of that because it's hard to think of 40 outfits, I'm sorry. But I hope you get the idea that any kind of patterned bottoms like this are very easy to style and make an outfit out of since they're already such a statement piece. So here I switched up a little bit and I added a sweater and a jacket over top just to make it a little bit warmer for the fall. Outfit number 29, not gonna lie, is probably my favorite one from this entire video. Tennis skirts are really in right now, and then I've been seeing people pair them with an oversized hoodie or sweatshirt, which is really comfy and casual and a really cute look, especially with the collar poking out like I have here. If you don't have a tennis skirt, another option is to wear any skirt that you have in your closet and just pair it with some type of sweater. Um, I'm wearing sneakers here, but if you have oversized boots, that's not the word, over the knee boots that go up a little bit higher on your leg, it's probably a good idea to keep you a bit warmer in the fall time. And then if skirts aren't your thing, of course, you can just switch those out for some plaid pants. These are some fun ones with the red color in them, which is very appropriate for the fall time. And another variation on that, if you want to do something a little bit more casual, is to wear those plaid pants with... Um, a graphic t-shirt or some kind of oversized t-shirt that has similar colors to the pants, if that makes sense. And then this is one of my favorite outfits too. I think this is so cool. I'm wearing these leather pants and leather is super in right now for the fall. And then any kind of big oversized jacket is also really trendy right now. Um, if you don't like the long look of this coat, you can go for something shorter like this one or just something super casual like a military jacket would also work. And now moving into some more comfier outfits, I guess you can call them. I love outfits that incorporate joggers and still somehow make them look cute. So that's always a good option for the fall. Just try pairing any joggers or sweatpants with a t-shirt, maybe a graphic t-shirt like I'm doing here, and then either a jean jacket or a flannel or something like that. And you're still super comfy, but you look more put together. Here's another option that I'm really, really into right now, and that is going off the trend of biker shorts. If you wear biker shorts with any kind of oversized graphic t-shirt and an oversized jean jacket or cardigan or something like that, it creates a really loungy but still put together look. Another option following the biker shorts trend is to just wear any kind of hoodie or sweatshirt over top, especially crew necks that have the three quarter length zip. Those are really, really trendy right now. Another option if you're looking for something comfy but still cute for the fall time is to wear leggings with a sweater and then you can just throw a jacket or whatever over top to spice it up a little bit more. This is also a really good idea. Instead of just wearing leggings and a hoodie, which is something I do way too often, you can try throwing on um, a flannel or a jean jacket or something over top and it kind of spices up the outfit and makes it look like you put a little bit more effort than you did. So outfit number 40 is just embodying that exact same concept. I'm wearing a totally random sweatshirt here. This is actually one for my dad, but I tried to make it look a little bit cuter by wearing it with the oversized jean jacket and some cool chunky sneakers. So that is actually it guys, we freaking did it. This was the state of my room after filming this video. It was a complete disaster, it literally took so much effort. <laughs> and here's a clip of me at two in the morning, still trying to edit this video and get it up for you in time. So. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because I really did work hard on it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next Sunday in the next video.